What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you five easy no comply tricks. One reason I'm doing this video is I don't think I've ever done a regular backside shove it in a no comply. I've done a lot of no comply front shoves. I also have never tried to do a switch no comply. So I'm going to try to do both of those tricks in this video. The easiest no comply trick to learn is different than the no comply trick that is the easiest for me personally. The easiest for most people uh, to learn when it comes to no complies is going to be just the regular front side 180 no comply. So to do this, you got your back foot on the tail, front foot on the bolts or behind them. You are going to turn your shoulders first. Start to turn your shoulders like you're gonna do a 180 and then you're gonna step off and since your shoulders are so turned, you're going to pop and kind of push it a little bit. Even though your shoulders are turned, you kind of have to still turn this and guide it with your back foot still. So you're turning your shoulders, you're popping, you're guiding it around with your back foot. Your back foot stays on the whole time. It shows the board where to go. And you're gonna jump off your front foot, land on the board and roll away. So to do this, you wanna start out doing it slow. And you wanna start out just stepping off popping the board around. Let me stand up and do this. So doing it slow. Step off, pop, step back on. After you've got that, you can do the trick. You just have to do it faster and faster. I'm still at that point with my switch, no complies. Let's go into the switch one. So the switch one is the exact same thing. It's just I personally have never tried them before, so I'm still at that point where I'm just stepping off and stepping back on. So the next easiest no comply trick is going to be the front shove. With that one, you've got the same foot position. You're doing the same foot position for every single one of these. On this one, you are going to step off, but you're not turning your shoulders. You're not doing that step where you turn your shoulders. You're gonna be stepping farther away from the board and you're gonna still pop and push with your back foot. Your back foot's basically doing the same thing. Your front foot is just getting farther out of the way because the board's doing a front shove. So your back foot is way out here. It's doing a front shove and you're stepping back on. So the foot placement's the same. The pop's the same. It's, it's the same trick except you're not turning your shoulders and you're stepping a little bit farther away from the board so you don't hit yourself in the shin. After that, this is another one that I've never done, the regular shove. Uh, it likes to do pressure flips when I do this. So I like to do it with my back foot just right on the tip of the tail because anywhere else it'll start to do a pressure flip. And I've done so many no comply pressure flips that my body's just used to doing that. Uh, I like doing it off the tail. The nose, my nose is kind of pointy and it really likes to pressure flip. So the, yeah, I, I just barely pop these and scoop them. It's the same trick, except you're scooping it the opposite way. You're scooping it backside instead of front side. One of my most popular videos on this channel is the uh, five easy no comply tricks. And in that video, I do no comply pressure flips and no comply pressure 360 flips, or whatever you call that, pressure double flips maybe. Uh, but that's not easy. So in this video, I'm gonna try to stick to some easier tricks. All right, so for the fifth trick on this list, this one just comes naturally to me. And I do this trick every day at every skate park I go to. If you've ever seen me at a skate park and I do a really good trick, I kind of throw this trick afterwards just to kind of turn it into a line. Even though this is so natural to me, it's just like a little celebration at the end of landing a trick. If I like board slide the rail, I usually throw a no comply back 360 at the end of it just like after a few feet of rolling just to kind of celebrate that I did a trick. So to do this, first you want to do the backside 180. For me, the backside 180 is harder because I'm so used to pivoting it around the rest of the way. Uh, but for the back side, no comply 180. It's, it's just like the front side one, except you're turning your shoulders the opposite way. You're stepping off the opposite way and you're scooping the opposite way. You have to get your foot and your leg farther enough away where the board can go in between your legs. That's the scariest part of this. 
so the board has to kind of pop in between your legs you have to be tall enough to get the board between your legs on this trick it's going to be better to be taller for all of these no comply tricks in my opinion uh, it's going to pop between your legs and you're going to land on the board roll away just like the regular no comply 180 just everything the opposite direction so when you're doing the 360 you're just going to spin your shoulders rotate them a little bit harder and just pop a little bit harder and then when you land you're just going to keep sliding or pivot that's why backside 360s are so much easier uh, just just doing a backside a regular backside 360 is not that bad because you just do a 180 and you pivot the rest of the way and you want to do it slow at first and then work your way faster and faster until it looks like it's a fluid motion so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like this kind of content reviews tutorials and videos about what i'm learning as i grow as a skateboarder also just videos about random ideas i have i've got some really random videos on this channel if you like that hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.